Hello all, in today's class, let us understand a numerical, we will do a numerical on economics of a power system. So, before doing that, let us write the numerical. A numerical goes like this, a generating station has the following daily load cycle. Let us write the load cycle here, that is time in hours and load in megawatts they have given 0 to 6 hours 40 megawatts 6 to 10 hours 50 megawatts 10 to 12 60 megawatts then 12 to 16 it is 50 megawatts 16 to 20 70 megawatts 20 to 24 40 so 24 hours time span has been given. The question is, we need to draw the load curve and load duration curve. Draw load curve question mark, load duration curve question mark and find maximum demand. Second one, units generated per day. So, per day units generation. Third one, average load. And the fourth one, load factor. This is the problem given to us. So, let us solve this. So, daily load curve is drawn by taking the load along the y-axis. So, along the y-axis, it will be load. And time along the x-axis. So, x-axis, this is y-axis. So, here we are taking time in hours because they mentioned as 24 hours so as per them 0 to 6 hours so in order to do that we need to mark the time 0 to 4 up to 24 hours we may need to mark so how much what was the load curve they on 0 to 6 hours if this is 6 hours so 0 to 6 hours it was 40 so here we need to take 0 to maximum demand was 40 so we can take 0 10 20 30 up to 80 so so this was our 40 they had given up to 6 hours it was 40 units then 6 to 10 it was 50 units then 10 to 12 10 to 12 it was 60 units so up to 12 hours that is it is 12 hours here it is 60 then again after 60 it is decreased to 50 so up to 16 hours when we keep this is 16 hours from 16 to 20 it is increased to 70 up to 20 hours then again it is decreased to 40 until 24 hours so this is the load curve now the question after drawing the load curve we need to find out the maximum demand how to find out the maximum demand let us understand here so from the load curve it is very much clear that the maximum demand is occurring on the power station is 70 megawatts as per the data given 70 megawatts that is between 16 to 20 hours is the maximum demand so it is occurring between 16 to 20 hours so what is the maximum demand it is nothing but 70 megawatts the answer is 70 megawatts and the second question is second part is units generated per day units generated per day in a day how many hours we have 24 hours so let us do that calculation units generated per day so units generated per day is equal to area in kilowatt hour under the load curve so in kilowatt hour means 10 to the power of 3 and we will take different time slot so they have they have given 40 units for how many hours into 6 hours plus 50 units into how many hours it is 4 hours plus 2 hours into 60 plus 2 hours into 50 plus 4 hours into 70 
and lastly 4 hours into 40. If you simplify this, we will get 12 into 10 raised to 3 kilowatt hour. So, this is the units generated per day. And the third part is average load. How to calculate average load? Average load is equal to units generated per day. Just now we calculated units generated per day divided by 24 hours. So, what is the unit generated per day? Is 12 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 24. We are going to get the answer. The fourth one is load factor. We need to calculate the load factor. What is the formula for load factor? Load factor is equal to average load to the average load to the maximum demand. So average load is in the previous case we have calculated it comes to 50,000 maximum demand earlier we have calculated as 70 megawatts 70 to 10 raised to 6. Now simplifying this we will get the answer as 50,000 kilowatts this is your load factor. So, so this is how the problem is solved whenever they have given different duty cycles and they have asked us to find out units generated per day and that uh, to draw the load curve then calculate average load and load factor hope you understood thank you